Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question and the premium subscription of uh, subscription questions of lead code into a premium playlist and all the questions ordered by the sequence number into one single playlist. The question which we are trying to solve today is question number 1112 type medium highest grade for each student. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. It is uh, of medium type. It is already asked in Amazon and Coursera for one to two years of experience. Let's see the table. They have given two tables. Enrollment which is consisting of student ID, course ID and grade. Okay. And the combination of student ID and course ID is the primary column. Okay. Write an SQL query to find the highest grade with its corresponding course for each student. In case of a tie, you should find the course with the smallest course ID. Okay. Okay. Return the result table ordered by student ID in ascending order. The query result format should be in the Fox example. Okay, let's see it. If you see, there are three students. Number one, number two, and number three. Right? If you see, what is the highest score here? There are two highest scores. For one, it is 99. For three, it is 82. They mentioned that give the highest score for the with respect to the student ID. If the scores and for the condition where the two tables are sorry two rows where the grade is same they said that the course ID where it is least should be written. If you see here it is mentioned highest grade with uh, with its corresponding course for each student in case of a tie you should find the course with the smallest course ID. So what we will do is with respect to each student ID in the increasing order sorry uh, one minute let's try to give one more thing okay let's try to do one thing we can partition by student ID and we can give ranking in with respect to their grades. So rank 95 will get rank 1, rank 1, 99 will get rank 1, 90 will get rank 2 and 82 will get rank 1, 80 will get rank 2 and 73, 75 will be getting rank 3. After that we can filter for only rank 1 condition. It only four rows will be there then whenever it is uh, same things there will be more than one row plus one row then we can do one thing again after that we can group by student and take the minimum course ID from that let's see it how it can be done let's from enrollments Select all these three columns. Okay. 
let's try to create rank let's partition by each student id and order by grade descending as rk yeah if you can see we got the same thing there are two rows okay this is for another output i think yeah student id 1 course id 2 and 1 it is 99 and it's showing rank 1 similarly for rank 2 there are two 95s and the rank 1 should be for both of them similarly for rank 3 82 is getting rank 1 80 is getting rank 2 and 75 is getting rank 3 and let's take this one let's call this table as CTE now from this table let's filter only for rank equal to 1 so only the top rows from each column will be there Uh, what is the mistake I've done? Select all from CTE. Uh, what is the mistake? Select everything. Rank over partition by student ID, order by crescenting ID. Okay, we didn't keep the close in brackets. Okay, we can see for one student there is only one topper who is having rank 1 but for student 2 and uh, 3 here you can see there is one more topper so we can do one thing we can group by each student ID and take the minimum course ID and grade will be grouped by student ID let's take the student ID comma minimum of course ID as they have given us course ID only comma minimum of grade as we can't select the column name I'm just keeping minimum of grade in a similar style it got accepted let's submit it yes it got accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more explanations like this Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends whom they are preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist interview. Just be disciplined, complete all the 230 questions which are asked in the data analyst interview questions and one day you will be achieving your dream job. Thanks for watching.